Hello everyone, my name is El Jami. Welcome to Style Police, the first show in the Middle East to talk about best and worst dressed celebrities, not only in Hollywood, but Arab celebrities as well. Hello Alza, it's nice to have you here. You're a PR manager of big brands like Juicy Couture, Jay Norman and more. Tell us a bit more about it. I work for Majid Al Khatim Fashion and I represent um, the fashion brands. We're talking about social media, right? You know how powerful it is now and especially in our region. There's so many that are online, whether it's to buy something or whether to just check Facebook. The thing is there's a high percentage of them that actually go on every morning on a daily basis to check social media. With one of our brands, like Juicy Couture, we've actually worked with them to have a social media campaign. We took our fall collection and uh, what we did was we worked with them for this global campaign. It's called Wild at Heart, so hashtag Wild at Heart. <laughs> the thing is, we've actually chosen six different bloggers to actually come in and wear Juicy and talk about it. How do you, do you interact with, the, with your followers? The thing is what we do as a, from a campaign point of view is that when you want to talk about a certain product is that talk about the facts, make it interesting, give them some questions. What do you think about this? Yeah. What do you think about that? You know, and the thing is keep it interactive. When you keep a page interactive, that's when you have people going on and checking. Oh my God, this was really interesting. Oh, I like this. Oh, I don't like this. We also ask them for its sugar. We ask them to take photos. When they're at our store, sharing is another a very important thing important on Facebook. Important part, of course. People share on their own page and then they have their people that are following them that are looking at it. What is the hardest part of it? You have a very different difficult part which is the negative comments. As a brand you're supposed to address it and actually reply to them because they will know that you care. Because the thing is what happens is that if somebody puts a negative comment and you completely ignore it, people will start saying oh well that person said something then there should be a problem because they're not replying to me. You say please contact us and we will take care of it. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. a pleasure to have you Always. and it's a great talk. <laughs> Let's start with the best, which is Najwa Karam in Cannes Film Festival. And I think she looks great in this dress. I just love the beige and white mix and the lace. I love her hair. It's very beautiful. It's not too much. So her look is not too complicated. Right now, let's get to the tricky part. <laughs> Haifa Wahba, you're the worst dress of the week. This is her performing in the concert. It looks like an underwear and you just put her some jewelry on it. So it's just over accessorizing. I think she belongs to a Christmas tree. So right now, we'll get to Hollywood celebrities. The worst dress, he or she's at the Grammys, I believe, and she just looks like a balloon. Her hair just made it look even bigger. Her makeup is very nice, it is actually nice. Maybe if it was a navy blue, it would work for her. Definitely. Definitely. Best dress of the week, Rihanna. In her own collection, Rihanna by River Island, and at the premiere of the first collection. The whole, like that idea of the whole, um, you know, wash denim and the dark denim, like that makes yeah. is actually really nice. And the thing is putting on like that simple top. She looks very street style. It's a trend right now to have like your belly a little open. The dark lip, that's actually the trend right now which is because of the whole winter look. <laughs> so this is best and worst dress celebrities of the week. Next week we're bringing you more of a shocking outfit. My choice of the week is the perfume by Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy and Noir. It has a great design of the box. Pink and black is my favorite mix. The perfume itself has a mix of berries and mandarins and different fruits. I just love it. And I recommend you girls to try it. I am here with our makeup guru Z. Today she's gonna show us how to do natural makeup just from one palette. I'm really excited, are you? Hello. Hi guys, I'm gonna use the palette from MAC, uh, it's a shimmer basically, and uh, brush number 227, so you can get into shop and uh, buy it for yourself, so I'm gonna put a little bit on the eyelid, so don't be scared to put too much because uh, in the end it's shimmer and you're not gonna get worse. I'm gonna put the contour, I'm gonna contour the face also with the shimmer, like that. Don't forget to blend it really good because you don't want any extra on your face. On the, you know, if you will see the sun, it will, it will really shine amazing. And we're gonna finish with the lips. Okay, that's the secret. If you have uh, thin lips, you put little shine, a shimmer, 
and your lips gonna look bigger. That's it guys, this is our natural look in one minute. So watch me next week and I'm gonna share with you my other secrets. That is it for today. I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to share and like our pages on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Share with us the outfits that you think are good or not. See you next week. Welcome to, the, to my Dubai LA. Sorry. Today I'm gonna show you. Sorry. Guys. <laughs> what I'm gonna show you? She already said it.